sole of our feet. Lord, we ask you this morning, oh God, and this afternoon and this evening, and when, even when we lay our heads to rest, that your eternal spirit would prompt us to stay on the fiery line. Lord God, you said there are many dangers that we all must face, but if we die fighting, it is no disgrace. Oh God, coward in this army, you will find no place, but we must keep on the firing line. We ask you in the name of Jesus that every assignment, every trap, oh God, to pull your people down, even in this time of turmoil, Lord God would be, be, would be uh, completely ravished by you. Father, we can't do it on our own. Hezekiah cried out in a certain place. He said, Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. And God help us that our eyes would be upon you, not on what we're gonna hear, not on questioning the brethren to find out who happened and what happened and what's happening and what's going. Lord, our eyes are upon you. Hallelujah. And we ask you this evening, Lord, as we've come together, that you'd strengthen us, oh God, that we would pray. Hallelujah, we will pray. We will not stop praying. In our secret closet, we will bow our knees and our hearts. Oh God, in the assembly, we will join hands and heart together. We will pray. Hallelujah. We will not criticize, Lord. We will not pull down, but we will pray, oh God, and ask for strength on behalf of our brethren. You said that we should strengthen the feeble knees and we should lift up the hands that hang down. Father God, and we should cry, comfort ye, comfort ye of the people, saith the Lord God. We place everything into your mighty hand. We pray that you strengthen our hearts together. Remember that the ministers, Lord God, we pray that you would help us, that we would speak with one voice. Hallelujah. We pray that you'd help that there would be a spirit of true discernment. That as we discern, Lord, we would cry in, the, in one spirit. Hallelujah. That your people would be strengthened. Strengthen those of us, oh God, who are going through the going through. That it will not overwhelm us. And as your word, the word says, Lord, the songwriter, when he caught the vision, he said, when I tread the verge of Jordan, bid our anxious fear subside. And when you finish, lead us through the swelling torrent. And please, God, land us safe on Canaan's side. Songs of praises, songs of praises, we will ever give to thee. Songs of praises, songs of praises we will ever give to thee. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We ask you that, Lord, if we were, were our heads were hung down, that they would be up. If our spears were dull, they will be sharpened for war. If our prayer life was non-existent, we would begin to pray. If, Lord, we can't leave our food, we begin to leave our food and bow before your great presence. Because we know, Lord, that you have the final say in every operation of man. And we will look around in the world and we see what's going on. Lord, this in itself is screaming and preaching at us and testifying that your coming is near. So, God, we pray that every distraction, everything that would come to turn us out of the way, Lord, we would stand fast in that liberty wherewith you have made us free and will not be again entangled in, with the yoke of bondage. For your word declares that many are called, but few are chosen. Lord God, you said broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many there be that find it, but narrow is the way that leads to life. And few there be. And Lord God, we pray this evening that as we travel on this journey toward heaven, we ask you that you'd help us that we would keep our eyes open spiritually lord jesus naturally that we would keep our eyes open and keep our eyes steadfast upon you we look to you at this time for thine is the kingdom thine is the power thine is the glory forever and ever in jesus name we pray amen and amen amen Bless you, Pastor Grant, for a wonderful Hallelujah. prayer.
Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. Praise, Hallelujah. Praise, Hallelujah. Praise, praise for the household of faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, and Jesus. Pray for us the ministers and leaders. We've been we had a wonderful topic on Sunday gone about uh, the Good Shepherd. Um, how the Good Shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Uh, one of the things when I look at the scripture, the the, 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 the shepherd is one who takes care of the flock. The flock does not belong to the shepherd in the scriptures. And if you notice when after the, 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 the leaders were reprimanded and also the sheep, God referred to his flock, which is Israel and the church. I'm just going to ask Overseer just to uh, give a short exhortation. Overseer, you there? Can you hear me? Yes, amen. <laughs> That's a, that's a oh, short. I, I that. A short exhortation. I felt that, and I must tell you, I was relishing it. <laughs> I heard when the scripture read. Yes. And I felt my heart jump. They, they, and they, I felt that. They're coming at you. Yes. Um, as I... <laughs> sorry. As uh, one of the things that we, as we pray, yes. we, we need to um, use the name of Jesus more. I tell you why. Because Jesus is the one who's anointed and appointed. To and to discharge and to even exercise healing. So I am asking the church members and everybody else that in our going out and our coming in, in our sitting down and our rising up, we should use the name Jesus at the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Paul says, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. We need to new, um, use the name of Jesus some more. There's power in the name of Jesus. Demons flee when they see Jesus and when they hear the name of Jesus. Amen. And spirits Amen. are clean, clean, cleansed and made perfect by the name of Jesus. Jesus Amen. sent out the apostles. His Bible says he gave them power two by two. He changed Sam, Peter's, um, Simon's name to Peter. He, he, he called James and John the sons of thunder. And no, so the power is in the name Jesus. Just a short exhortation over here. Sorry, I'm getting excited myself. I hear you. God mm -hmm. bless you. I can only contribute to what you have just laid out because it is written again just to confirm bear witness with you what you have said not you said but it's in scripture there is no name mm -hmm. there is no name mm -hmm. given under heaven where with any man anyone anyone any human being can be saved but at the name of jesus animals don't carry knee is man of knee bless him animal doesn't speak language they have different kind of sounds they made but man speak language so the scriptures that scripture is given to us to understand that there is no name given on the heaven where it man can be saved and saving saving is the restoration of the soul jesus teaches that when we pray when we pray we must pray everybody should pray in March 6, right. the prayer. And I, 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 I am moved when I, I hear Elder Grant use it very often. 
but it is the prayer. It is the prayer that we pray with praying and with the understanding. When we pray, we pray, our Father, yes, sir. Christ teach us, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy, be thy name. name. Hmm. Hallowed be thy name. And the name that God established for us to come to him, to be saved, restore the soul, is the name of Jesus. There is no name given on the heaven that man can be restored in their soul, not in their body, not in their flesh, but in the soul because we cannot be restored in our body. The body is cursed to go back to the ground. The judgment is executed and every man body in the fallen state of Adam. Sometimes we miss it when we are not guided by the initial evidence of the Holy Ghost convicting us and we come to repentance. Curse is the ground for your sake. And from dust thou art, and to dust you shall re return. And you shall till the ground, and it shall bring forth thorn and thistle, a permanent, continuous, everlasting curse on the ground and on the body of man that is so living to. But the restoration of the soul. Amen. The <laughs> restoration of the soul is in the hands of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. So we shouldn't just only just call the name. We should give over to the power of the price that Jesus Christ had paid, that he abolished debt. He has abolished debt for man Conquered. and bring immortality to light. So he said, when we pray, when we pray, we should pray, our Father, we shout in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And to get true to God, we have to use the name of Jesus. For the name is given on the heaven that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and we have to bow before we confess it means you bow in repentance submission change of life commitment to actually worship to jesus christ so when we when we have prayer meeting when we go to service whatever function church service we are involved into christ is the head of it Christ is the main focus of it. Christ should be the one that is exalted in it. Christ is the one that covers it. Christ is the one that purchased the function of every person that they are contribute themselves to. So the Lord bless you, Ella Thompson, and the Lord bless the church. Let us remember that we cannot worship God without showing recognition to the plan of redemption that God had wrought through Jesus Christ. No other, there is no other name given on the heaven where it can be restored and saved, but at the name of Jesus. And therefore, the, 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 there is no tongue that can go and get be restored outside of Jesus. Every tongue must confess, and we confess him as Lord, the glory of God. As I close, I close the thought because I'm not preaching, it's just an exaltation. Back in your fellow Thompson. Um, the scripture you read is a very powerful one. It shows that Jesus Christ, when he was manifested in the flesh, in the earth, that he is a power. He called the disciple, and as they as they followed him, 
Every eyes was always placed on him, and he healed the sick, cast out devils, raised the dead. And the power is in him. All power in is in him. In All power is, it, the power is, cannot be taken away from him because if every knee must bow and every tongue must confess to the glory of God, the power is, in, is his. Amen. And he was the power manifested in the flesh. And, oh, praise God. <laughs> the understanding we should have when we, we teach this, and I was, the church don't take the real understanding of the teaching we give, even when we interpret it for them. The word of faith is in the Old Testament. And the doctrine of the believer is in the New Testament. Teaching belongs to born-again people. And the word of faith, the establishing of God, being a spirit, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, is in the Old Testament. And the manifestation of the Trinity manifested without sin is Christ, who is the promise of God when he actually sp speak to Moses in Mount Sinai. The word of God, the, the Old Testament, was Christ in the scriptures, not just the top scriptures, but Christ to fulfill all the scriptures. So the word manifested in the flesh is Christ, not talk, but operational, bringing deliverance and showing the power of God by the anointed word. The anointed word is Christ. So therefore then, if we are going to actually be anointed, we have to be anointed by Christ because he is the one who have power over principalities and power. That's why he have all power. So we have to acknowledge that we have come in contact with the fullness of redemption that was promised. The seed of the woman that bruised the serpent head, that destroyed the adversary, the work of the adversary, that bring about restoration of the falling of man back to God through him and by him. So if we are going to be resurrected, we have got to live in him. If you are going to be a blessing, we have got to speak through him. If we are going to make heaven for the rapture, we have to dwell in him. For the dead in Christ shall arise first. The Lord bless you tonight. And let us remember in everything we do, see that we are doing it through Christ. We should not deviate from the commission that he gave. Teach, we the ministers are supposed to teach Christ. Teach what Christ teach. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And the commission is, there is no other name. <laughs> that's, in the, that's a part of the commission. There no. is no other name given out of heaven. That man can be redeemed and restored. But in the name of Jesus, his name shall be called Jesus. His name shall be called Jesus. <laughs> For we shall say, as I said, his name shall be called Emmanuel, which is interpreting God in us. But this scripture said, his name shall be called Jesus. That's For he shall say. save his people. His people. He shall save his people from their sin. Amen. And so the greatest thing that we are doing here tonight is that our prayer meeting, as we prayed, where are we praying? And when we close, we close in the name of Jesus Amen. to the glory of God. God bless you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord bless you over here. I know you had to pull it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I know you have to pull the reins in, but uh, that's um, um, it's a bit of a teaser in the sense that um, the Spirit of God has laid on my heart to go through by His stripes we are healed. And 
in my next in the next Bible study, which is after Brother Brown's, uh, we're going to look at um, by His stripes we are healed, and it's at the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is important to the church. There, um, there's a portion of scripture in Hebrews, Hebrews um, chapter four and verse sixteen. It says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And that we can only get help through the name of Jesus. So we have to uh, for, forgive the term and don't, don't take it any other way. Um, the term Jesus only has a very strong um, strength, you know, and it, it, is, it, it is absolutely correct when we say it's in, the, in Jesus' name only, because no other name is given on the heaven or earth where man shall be saved. I'm going to be asking our prayer warrior, Mother Dolly, to pray another prayer for the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace in our ministry, uh, Mother Dolly. Praise God, I'm here. Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Righteous and eternal Father, oh God, Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we come to you this Evening, O oh God, giving you thanks and praise for your loving kindness and your tender mercies towards us. Lord, as we approach your mercy seat, Lord, Father, we know that there is only one name that is given, O oh God, whereby man can be saved or delivered. It's the name of Jesus. We bow our spirit before you this evening at that name. We thank you, dear God, that, uh, Lord, we have this privilege this evening that we can come and cry, Abba, Father. Lord, there is nothing that you do not know, even the very words uh, on our lips, oh God. Lord, you already know what's in our heart. Father, we just give you praise this evening for all the prayers that have already ascended up to you, oh God. We have heard, dear God, in our past lessons, oh God, that you have an ear, blessed be God, and Lord, your ear is open to the cry of the righteous, oh God, and so God, we have the assurance that, Lord, when we come before you and we cry out to you, oh God, Lord, that you will hear and answer prayer, Lord God, we thank you, oh God, that indeed, dear God, you give us strength where strength is needed, Lord, I didn't know that I was, was ill. In fact, uh, I did not know that I contracted COVID and I was going about my business until I tested and found that I had COVID, but I had no symptoms, like um, I had no temperature. I was going Thank about you. And God, it is by your strength that I Thank live, you, Jesus. that I live, I move, and I have my being. And, be and I don't feel any way, I don't feel any way bad as it were. And I'm glad I could come. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I want to thank you, Lord, that we are kept by the power of your word. Yes. And your word, oh God, is spirit. Mm -hmm. And your word is life. And you come to give us life mm -hmm. and life more abundantly. And I praise you, oh God. Many of the families, sometimes they were worried if I catch COVID or, or how I would manage and Lord, but I thank you. I thank you. I'm still in the land of the living. I'm breathing. I'm moving. I'm, I'm doing my work as, as normal. And it's because of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is you, you who keep us, oh God. 
And Lord, I'm not boasting, but if I have anything to boast, I boast in my infirmities. I boast because you give me strength. Mm -hmm. I could not carry myself, mm -hmm. but Lord, you carry you carry us, Lord. Mm -hmm. And I know, dear God, that many of our brethren, Lord, are unwell. Many are going through, oh God, various uh, um, troubles and trials and, and tests, Lord. But God, the same Lord overall is rich unto all that call upon your name. And this evening I'm calling upon you, O oh God, on the behalf of my brethren, my brethren who are sorrowing, my brethren who are, O oh God, under great um, pressures as it were, Lord. Brethren who are mentally disturbed, O oh God, in various ways, Lord, I commit them, glory be to God, Father, I commit them in your hands because, God, you're able to do more than we could ever ask or even think, oh God. You said to ask you, oh God, I'm asking you this evening to mm -hmm. still the minds, oh God. I'm asking you to bring strength and deliverance to those, oh God, who are going through the going through. You say, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the flood, they will not overflow us. When we pass through the fire, we will not be burned, oh God. Lord, these are your promises, oh God, that you have said, Lord, if we abide in you, whatsoever thing, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Anything we ask, Lord, you say your name. You said, God, that you will do it, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you have mercy, oh God, upon us, oh God. Father, I pray, God, you will wink at the ignorance of, of some of our children, oh God, because, Lord, foolishly they may do things, oh God. And, Father God, but we are praying on their behalf, oh God, Lord, that they will come to their right senses, oh God, and Lord God, that they will say, God, have mercy on me. I pray for the restoration of our children, Amen. those who have gone astray, those who are backslidden, oh God, you promise that you will restore the backsliders, you will remarry the backsliders, God, and we are looking to you, Lord, for that spirit of restoration amongst us, oh God. Lord, your word declares you don't wish any to perish, but that all should come to repentance. I pray, God, for your covering over them. Lord, when they go out and when they come in, when they lie down, when they rise up, oh God, be a wall of fire around them, oh God. Let not that wicked one touch them. Let not that wicked one say, ha ha. I pray, dear God, as they would listen to, to us, oh God, and, and your word. I pray, God, you said you give favor unto those who have understanding. I pray you grant them understanding. Standing, oh God, that they may know that God, there is indeed a God in heaven, one to be feared. God, I said the spirit of fear, oh God. Lord, if they fear you, you will grant wisdom, oh God. I pray, dear God, that you will give us, even mothers, the spirit of wisdom to guide our children, oh God. Lord, I pray, dear God, that you would make them walk in that straight and narrow way, oh God. Help us and give us the grace, oh God, to continue and not to become weary in well-doing, oh God. Bless us, we pray, oh God. Bring the unity of the spirit, Oh God, amongst us, oh God, I pray there'll be no division, no schism, Lord, that we will truly have care one for the other, that the spirit of compassion, oh God, will be upon us, Lord, that when we see one down, we would not try to bring them further down as it were, but we would lift them up. You said lift up, oh God, the hands that hang down, oh God, the feeble knees to strengthen, oh God. I pray, dear God, that indeed, Lord, we would be as good shepherds, oh God, who care for the sheep, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I just ask of you, dear God, to do for us exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. Bless our ministers again, oh God. 
And I pray that God will continue to keep them in perfect peace as they keep their mind stayed upon you. Because, Lord God, you are able, oh God, to keep us against that day. We commit ourselves in your hands. The things that we fail to ask of you, oh God, you know such things that we have need of. And I pray you who said you will abundantly supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, you will do far exceedingly for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And for the glory of God, we say amen and amen. 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 Lord bless Mother Darling. Lord bless you for his mercy towards you. Realize, having COVID and don't even realize that you got it. Thanks be to the Bible says you will eat, um, you take up serpents in your hand. Deadly <laughs> serpents and they will not hurt you. And they will not hurt you. Oh, blessed be God. Just take, take up your mind. Stop when you Give God thanks for his goodness. Praise and the Lord. Give Praise the Lord. thanks for his mercy. Praise the Lord. For, for what he has done. Bless your name. This is wonderful. Amen. Amen. Is absolutely Amen. wonderful. Amen. 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 Lord bless you, Mother Darling. It's nice to see Brother Patrick on, on, uh, amongst us. And, and, um, and Brother Banguru and, and all those brothers and, 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 and Patrick, everybody, and Brother Andrew Setrington. We thank you for being with us. Our closing prayer. I'm just going to ask Pamela to, to, uh, um, to pray the closing prayer. Amen. And that um, there's an old song that says, Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. Let us maintain, Sorry, Jesus. maintain the name Jesus. Let us call the name Jesus in our prayers, in our rebuke, everything. Bible says, whatsoever we ask in his name, Amen. praise God, in his name. It shall be done. Fabulous. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Sorry for this. Minute. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you. Your grace and mercy has brought us through, and we're living this life because of you. We thank you, Jesus, for your life that you put on a cross to deliver us from a world of woe. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood that you shed. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for the hope that you place within us. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for the sacrifice of your life yeah. so that we could live. Glory. Thank you, Jesus, that in you we move, yeah. we live, and we yeah. breathe, and we have our being. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping us yeah. even till this far. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus, that one day you're going to appear and you're going to take us home with you. And you said we Thank shall you. be like you, Jesus. Yes, yes sir. Your father shall see us as he sees you, yes. Jesus. <laughs> and in your name, Jesus, Praise we that. ask yes. you that you will gather us and continue to speak to us and continue to reveal yourself to us, that our lives, our characteristics will come up to your characteristics and we will be as you are. Oh yes. God, dear Jesus, help us to look to you, help us to love you, help us to commit our way to you. Hallelujah. Oh God, we know that you wouldn't come down from the cross, God. but you decided to die to save us. Yes. And you took your life as a ransom so that we can be ransomed, we yes. can be saved, we oh, can be delivered. And you said, by your name, oh, oh God, God, there's healing. By your name, Jesus, there's deliverance. By your name, there is hope, Jesus. Yes, sir. You said, no man can come to the Father except through yes. Jesus yes. Christ. Oh, and as we take up your name, oh God, not only by speaking and talking about your name but our lives yeah, is yeah, written yeah. epistle and yeah. men would see your good works they would yeah. see your name yeah. written on us and they'd come to glorify you jesus mm -hmm. we ask you that our lives oh god before you would replicate you that many would know come to know you and even in and amongst us oh god that we'd show forth your grace to each other 
oh god in your name have your sweet way we pray and as we're about to depart one from the other we pray that you'll go with us and we pray that we'll always take your name with us everywhere we go thank you for your goodness thank you for your love thank you for your grace thank you for your guidance thank you for your protection Thank you for salvation. Thank you for healing. Thank you that in you we move, we live, we breathe, and live and breathe. The earth is yours, the fullness thereof, and everything in it. For thine is the kingdom. Yes, sir. The power and all the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Brethren, can you take your mics off and just give Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 The topic for Sunday School lesson on Sunday. It's the last Sunday of the month. Um, is it the fifth Sunday? I'm not too sure. Yeah. It is, is the fifth. It is. It's the fifth Sunday. So it's the fifth Sunday. Sunday. Over here, it's up to you. Um, yeah. <laughs> the topic. The topic for. <laughs> the topic for our last Sunday School lesson is God's Zika. healing presence. God's healing presence. The lesson is taken from Ezekiel chapter 43, healing verses presence. 1 to 9, Ezekiel 47, 1 to 6, yeah. and Ezekiel 47, 7 to 12. God's presence returns. Uh, that's 1 to 9 for Ezekiel 43. The supernatural river. From the, from the temple, Ezekiel 47, 1 to 6. And uh, the, the third subtopic is life-giving waters, Ezekiel 47, 7 to 12. Let us continue praying one for the other. Let us continue living in the name of Jesus, only Jesus. Jesus is the only one we can we, we can turn to. He's the only one that can deliver. Amen and amen. Uh, I just also remind the brethren, um, the ministers, that they, it's meant to be fifth Sunday fasting for the, the elders as well. Amen. Those who can join, those that can join into the fasting. So elders. Fasting, and those who want to join any Elders, can... the fifth Sunday fasting for the elders. And as Pastor Shirley says, um, those of you who want to join with the elders in fasting on the fifth Sunday, you can do so as well. We are, uh, if, if we're going to use a topic for the fasting, if um, Sister Shirley will permit me, we're going to use the topic in the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus. By the name of Jesus. There's more than three. That's three there. But we use in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. Let the words of our mouth, Amen. The meditation of our hearts, be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Praise the brethren. God bless you, brethren. Hallelujah. Bless you, Mother Edward. Thank you. 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 Thank you.